Hello everybody, this is Leader Rock, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, we messed around town, beat up a guy called Everdread, and we invested in some money for the Orange Kid. In this episode, before we head off to Peace Forest Valley, we're going to visit Apple Kid, and we're going to invest some money with him. Because he's also an inventor. Seems like you're expecting something from me. Maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Sure. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. I'll give him the $200. I won't let you down. Okay. Let's hope not. And why is there a mouse not right? I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master, and in turn, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. It's got the receiver phone. Oh, it must be in your way. Zip. Yeah. Um, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to invest with Apple Kid and Orange Kid is just an optional thing. He gives you a that broke that machine that breaks when you use it. Oh God, a mushroom! I'm not fighting these things. Ah. Oh well. Oh, I want to show you guys all the enemies. But I killed it in one hit. Hey, it works for me. Um, I believe I said this in the last episode, but I didn't in this. Um, I didn't. I touched upon it in the last episode, but I didn't get my, too far into it. When those mushrooms give you confusion, it also messes with your controls. So instead of just being oh you miss or occasionally hit a, hit a player, you sometimes. It'll mess up with your controls, and if you hit left, you'll go up or down or right, you know, one of those things. Um, these guys are notoriously going to kill your, uh, your power points, or your psychic points. I'm trying to avoid saying PP because it's very awkward of a thing to say. But yeah, those... Those uh, mobile sprouts drain your MP, and then they'll, on top of that, they'll also use life up. Now, here's something that's kind of important. If you do get a mushroom on your head, you can talk to this girl to get rid of it, or you can go to a hospital and pay money. That girl's free, so we're not going to complain. Anyway, we're going to head our way up, head on our way up here. Um, you want to get to Happy Happy Village. And let's check out this sign. Cross the bridge to Happy Happy Village. Ah. Oh. Okay, so we have another new enemy. A little UFO. So basically we'll just shoot them. Or, yeah, shoot them. We'll dodge. Hit dodge. Stop dodging, please. Oh. Um. And it gives a cold. Okay, we're gonna use a hamburger to heal. Good thing I did that. Ugh. There we go, okay. Finally killed it. Now I see our first status ailment. I believe it's our first, is it? Yeah. First one that we actually have on us. Not the first one we talked about. It's the sniffles. Or the cold. Or cold. We can use a cold remedy, or we can use our PSI healing to get rid of it. Because PSI healing helps get rid of cold. Basically what sniffles do is, they'll take an occasional damage. We are not fighting those guys, those little sprouts again. Okay, so we'll go up here, check this out. For some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. Um, there's not really much we can do here, so we kind of have to go back. Unfortunate as it is. Um, so yeah. Actually, hold on. Let me see something here. Use phone only sees calls. You cannot make calls. Up. Okay. So we can't do anything with that. Oh, well, not yet. It's good to keep in your inventory for now. Um, we'll be using it in a minute. Um, Unfortunately, there's no other place we can go, so I guess we have to head back into Tucson. Um, oh, that was a waste of a trip, huh? We are not fighting those guys again. 
Okay, a little something that you've seen, that you've been seeing me do. If you move enemies out of the screen long enough, or if you go far, far away enough from an enemy, typically when they're off screen, then um, they'll change positions or rearrange enemies or even won't be there. Um, initially, you can go this whole game without any enemies at all. Uh, well, Anyway, since it didn't seem like we were going to get rid of that guy soon, <clears throat> you can move enemies off the screen and in hopes of changing enemies. Oh, look. Hello, this is the Apple Kit. I've just finished work on this great invention. Get over here as fast as you can. This thing is so cool. See you soon. Slam! Beep! Okay, so. Ah, freaking mushrooms. I want to fight them. Going around them. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> As can tell, I hate mushrooms. Go ahead and fight this one see if we can kill them one hit. We're now level 14. Now the power of paralysis. Or paralyzed. Okay, so we're going to head over to Apple Kid real quick. Um. Oh, it's not too, it's not too far. I think I'll just keep... I'll keep this in the video. <clears throat> okay, so... There's Orange Kid. Let's talk to him. I'm looking for that so-called genius Apple Kid. That's a true genius. I'll tell you that he's in Burling, Burgling Park. Looking for you. Yeah, it's Burglin, not Berlin. <laughs> I keep calling it Bur I keep changing names for everything a lot. Okay, so I guess we go into the park see Apple Kid. Um, there he is. Okay, talk to you. I'm feeling really out of it because I've been working all night. But finally the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil shaped figures in, in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a, sh near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. Wow. Got the pencil eraser. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. Wow. That was convenient. So, I'll see you guys back in Peace Forest Valley. Hello, everybody. I'm back. Okay, so, we're in Peace Forest Valley once again. I'd say it's about time we go and use a pencil eraser. And let's use a pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the pencil statue was erased. Yes, I know that doesn't make sense. That's part of the fun of the game. Okay, so, we're gonna head up here. And. I guess we'll fight this guy. And welcome back. Okay. Here's the reason I highly suggest you never use your items unless you're out of, out of uh, PP. I got the sniffles in that last fight, and now it's going to kill me because we have no items. Um, oh, there's a butterfly up there. Check this. The travel charm, no use for us. Um, let's hope we can get that butterfly before it, and hope it doesn't despawn. Oh, crap, it's a tree! Okay, that... Uh, I'm screwed, on I? Oh, it doesn't seem to be affecting us. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, there we have a couple enemies. That tree there that's moving. Those trees are tougher enemies. Oh, there we go. Butterfly! Butterfly! Chase the butterfly! Yay! We can cure ourselves of the, of the, of the flu. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna cut ahead up here real quick. Okay, I'm back, and now we're gonna continue on to where we're, we're heading to normally. Um, I'm gonna avoid the diamond thing, so those guys are spinning robo, which are tough enemies, kind of tough enemies to beat. They're a little heavier hitting than, than uh, standard enemies are. 
as you can tell. And with my luck, I keep missing everything. I'm gonna get out the freaking cold! Ah! Freaking heck! Freaking hell, my immune system sucks! Okay, so we're gonna... Psychic that healing that uh, cold away. We're gonna keep heading down. We're gonna talk to this guy at last. I wonder who made the bridge impassable. Why would someone do this? Crud. Why indeed. Okay, so. Um, this is about all we can do. I'm gonna end it off here and we'll continue it next time. So, next time we'll continue passing through Peaceful Rest Valley. I'll see y'all later.